Good morning and welcome to Chasing Cap UK. Very exciting morning for me. Uh, it's the first outing weekend, 20, more than 24 hours, I should say, um, of January of uh, 2023. It's uh, it joined me on a, a quite mild February morning. It's late February now, um, and we've got a 48-hour session down at Molten Lakes. Really excited about this. Um, yeah, so I fished the venue a few times. Um, there's 12 pegs. Uh, you only let 11 people fish at a time. Um, it's a it's a challenge in water in the summer. There's a lot of weed there in the summer. Not so bad in the winter. Uh, plenty of clear spots though all year round. Really good looking fish there. It's, it's a it's a lovely place to fish. You've got each peg has its has its own features, so to speak. You've never got a peg that's just crap. I mean, you've always got somewhere where you can fish to at least. But yeah, I'm just currently sat in the services, just chucked some fuel in, picked up the trusty old Greg sausage rolls ready for the, the weekend. I'm traveling down on my own at the minute, but I've got a friend joining me later on uh, after work. He's going to have a drive down. It's about an hour's drive for me. So, so yeah, I'm going to get on the road and catch up with you when we get down there. Just a quick update guys, uh, as I've not done anything else since um, arriving, uh, it's pretty windy here and it started raining so I had to literally throw everything up, get the bivvy up, get the rods out, get everything checked. Um, so both rods out, uh, bivvies up, beds all sorted, pegs all sorted really, just sat down chill now, I've got to put the waterproof on because it keeps spitting all the time. Um, I've got, I found two nice gravel spots just off the island. Um, I'll show you that later on. Um, got two uh, D rigs on uh, with a bit of foam on the bottom and some uh, some worms. Uh, it's supposed to be really good here. Uh, and baited up with a load of um, red maggots. 
winter red maggots here are supposed to be bang on like so I'm going to give that a whirl and see what happens guy next door was has just had a 21 pound coming out really nice fish and um, so they are on the feed and uh, it fished pretty well here through last week I think some guy had, had 13 fish out last week um, so yeah I've just sat down with a brew and faithful crusty sausage rolls just waiting for a bite now getting a couple of liners but I don't know if it's the wind it is quite windy so if the audio is not too good I apologize for that but we'll see what happens so yeah I'm just sat chilling now and now it's the waiting game watching the water see if we can see any any signs of any fish the sun's out though and there's uh, so I think and the the winds pushing down into the shallow end so they may push down there today and um, but I'm tied up against the island with two rods. I've had fish on this peg before from them, both of them spots. So I'm confident. I just hope them worms are still on them D rigs. Uh, tried banding them on, had a nightmare. Turned me back and they were off, they were gone. Uh, so I've just flossed them on like the normal way. I, I would normally do it. Flossed them on, bought them out, like I say, with a load of red maggots, uh, some bit of, a bit of pellet, not too much. It's winter, it's still cold, isn't it? Um, so now it's just a waiting game, a wait and see. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you the rigs later on um, when I'm all sorted, when I get the rods back out again later. Um, and we'll have a walk round and we'll, we'll see, what's, see what's what. Uh, Sam's the owner, Sam, lovely guy. Uh, he's fishing opposite me. I can see him in the cut. He's on the, uh, the favourite peg, Peggy. It's a favourable peg. There's a nice willow tree that overhangs, nine and a half wraps out to the willow tree. There's a beautiful gravel spot, and there's uh, quite a lot of fish come off that gravel spot. So uh, he's jumped in that peg before everyone's come down. But, but yeah, I'm confident where I'm at. Like I say, the guy next was just had a fish, so so they are on the bite, and it fished well last week. Looking at the Facebook page, so if you didn't catch it at the start, we are at. 48 hours at Moulton Lakes in North Yorkshire. Beautiful place, picturesque. Every peg's just stunning. There's nice, there's bark down on every peg. It's, you're not sat in a mud pile. Yeah, really nice pegs. It's quite sociable as well because the pegs aren't too far away from each other. It's not the biggest lake, but it's just so nice. So many features. Nice wooded area around you. So, yeah, we'll see you. Uh, See what happens, and I'll keep you updated. As the day pushed on, apart from a few liners, there was no signs of any fish. With people catching around me and not feeling too confident, I decided to pick the marker rod up and let about to find some new spots. This place, man, it's so tranquil. So, you've got a long island there, 
So I've got one road probably around about here, tucked up against the island, nice little gravel spot. And the other road just on that little corner bit there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. No, probably about there, I think. Nice little gravel spot there as well. Pegs are canny. Have a little wander around. Back there, I think, moving. But yeah, apart from that, look at that man. The colour of the water as well. You can kind of like see what the bottom is there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a lot of like dead weed on the bottom, the low level weed. That's the shallow end down. This, this area here is like towards the shallows and then it gets a little bit deeper here about four to six foot and then it goes up to about 12 foot at the top and there's the willow tree there the willow tree Yeah, so it's very quiet still. Oh, there's the sun coming out. Little look at the lake behind us. I mean, it's sunny enough, but it's freezing still. But yeah, there's uh, another one's come out at the top end where the, in the deeper end, a uh, 16 pound mirror, I think it was. Yeah, I'll have a little wander about. But yeah, it's uh, still, so quiet down down my end I think there's one guy fishing down in the shallows I'll just spin that round you've got to see that down this end here is the shallow end yeah there's one guy fishing down there um, oh, just on an empty peg yeah the sun's out but it's just very quiet Lush place, so some nice spaghetti bolognese to cook up later on. Though, I'm looking forward to that. Nice hot meal, my hands are freezing. It's when I'm standing about, uh, when I'm sat about doing nothing. If I'm walking around, I just don't feel it as much. I mean, you'd think you'd get cover from, from the, the wind with all these trees, but not where I am on my peg. The last remaining people for the weekend are starting to turn up now because, like I say, there's only, I think he only fishes 10 or 11 people on 12 pegs, I think. So he always leaves one peg spare for for somebody if uh, to be able to move if they don't, if they're not happy where they are. But everyone's starting to turn up now, so it'll be full in the next few hours, I can imagine. Yeah, I'm going to get some bait on soon. Get some spaghetti bolognese on. Plenty of uh, plenty of cheese on top of it as well. What more do you want? Normally, when we come with the lads, it's takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. We always get takeaways delivered to the to the lake all the time. A couple of beers on the night time, but I think with a dark night, uh, dark days where it's going to get dark early, it'll be uh, in the bivvy by six o'clock and in the in the in the bag by seven. So at least I'll be able to catch up on some sleep anyway. Yeah, so this year I'll be doing quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of uh, long weekends. I've uh, recently changed uh, job. So I get, I finish up one o'clock every Friday now, which is absolutely, brilliant for fishing 
Uh, so I'll be doing a lot of Fridays, Saturdays and sun uh, going home on the Sundays. Uh, I took a lot of time off work last year to do um, long weekends and I literally hammered my holidays. My partner wasn't best pleased with it. So uh, finishing early on a Friday and having a nice long weekend gives us the opportunity to um, to get on the bank a bit more. My partner does like to come with us as well, so you might see some of her in my vlogs. And I haven't mentioned as well, this is the first vlog, this is the first video on the channel. Uh, so if you like the content, please subscribe, drop us a like, drop us a comment in the comment section. Um, and hopefully we can uh, keep the content coming this year and, and, and build on the channel. Yeah, it's very quiet at the minute. Hopefully it picks back up. And we'll see what happens. Still got plenty of time, got all night and then all day and all night tomorrow. Be off by about 8 a.m. on Sunday, 8 or 9 a.m. on Sunday, about an hour drive home. So I've still got plenty of time on the Sunday. To kick up, pick, kick back and chill. Yeah, any changes? Be back on again. Right guys, it's now five o'clock. Absolutely nothing all day. Not a bite. I don't think anything else has come out across the lake either. Um, so putting the rods out for the night now because literally got about 40 minutes before it's dark. Uh, just give you a, a quick look at what I'm doing for the night. So I was fishing with worms on a D rig before. A little bit of foam underneath just to perk them up a little bit. Loads of maggots uh, in the boat, and then um, casting it out, uh, boating it out, and dropping it all. Found a new spot. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. So the new spot is just on the end of this this willow tree here. Oh, that was going to bite there. Friggin' swans. Uh, the new spot is just on the end of the willow tree. Uh, my mate's now in that peg beside me, so he doesn't mind me fishing on that edge of that. Uh, new spot for there for the night. Um, so I'm going to PVA bag it, but I want to take a load of maggots out with it as well. Uh, so I'm going to chuck it in the boat rather than cast it. About nine and a half wraps just on the corner of the, of the tree. Uh, Chuck the PVA bag in the boat, I just bought it all out with a load of two handfuls of maggots, I think. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look. So, I don't know if you can see. So, just a small PVA bag with some pellets in. Got a pink wafter in there because two of the lads that I've caught today have caught on pink wafters, so I'd be rude not to give it a go. Uh, just using the avid stem. Uh, three ounce avid in line in there. You'll have to excuse the mess in the bivvy. Bit hectic. Uh, yeah, so that's what's going out. Nine and a half wraps. Straight out onto the, the corner of the willow tree. Oh, I'll get, this one's getting a bit frisky there. So, pop over to see. Jonathan on his peg. How are you getting on, Jonathan? Good. Um, yeah, hi to the channel. Hello. How you doing? Nice to meet you. It's one of the, the lads you'll see me fishing with quite a lot on my day sessions. Shoo shoo shoo. The weekly sessions and the fan sessions. Yeah, he's just he's not been down long. He's just um, 
sorting his spots out and getting his rods out for the night. But yeah, quiet, quiet day to day. Get these rods out, then we'll get some bait on, get some spaghetti ball nails on. And have a little bit of crack with Jonna. Jonathan, sorry, we call him Jonna. Catch up with you soon, guys. Well, it's my most favorite time of the day, bait time. So, man is to knock up some spaghetti bolognese for me and Johnny. Pepperonis, because I, I mean, I like a bit of pepperoni in my pasta. I mean, I'm not, I'm not no Gordon Ramsay, no Jamie Oliver. Right, this is where you get to see this mince go all over the place. Now I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to go daft with it. I need to get it out, but I'm not going to take that risk. to women, by the way, that I wasn't seeing anything there. <laughs> See, my missus is not going to be happy at all because I've took all the pans out of the kitchen I'm away for the weekend, so God knows what she's going to cook with. Let air come in. Look at that floor now, eh? Laughing now, aren't we? Burning the spark bomb. Oh, 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 oh. That's what. Right, I'm going to have to stop this a second because my thing is called mental. Get the water. Get that on. Hold on. No, I'm not going to make the mistake of putting this boiling hot pan straight on there uh, on my baby floor. Like. Is this eh? How fancy is that? Bet you who's not watching now will be like, I wouldn't touch that. If it, I'd rather eat the bracken on the floor with the peg than that. But it doesn't look that bad. It looks alright to be honest. Trusted Parmesan cheese. A most. So if you can 
see, but... It doesn't look that bad, does it? It's all right, man. And that's it. That's it for me. I'll knock this off. Bon appetit. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, we're on to morning number two. As you can see, I am absolutely shattered. Nothing to report on the fish side, but the swans, oh my god. It's a big group of swans on the lake, and they're an absolute nightmare. Just wiping the rods out, chasing each other all night. Oh, absolutely knackered, no sleep at all. I mean, I was warm enough like, so that wasn't too bad. It's been raining all night as well. Uh, but yeah, I've not heard, I've not heard any any rods ripping off through the night, to be honest. But yeah, oh, God, I'm oh, tired. But get up, have some breakfast. But it's eight eight o'clock now. A bit of a lie in this morning with the rain. Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, and then I'm gonna reset and have a look and see what we can do today. Jonathan's still in his bivvy. I can see his door still up. There's not many people out, to be honest. I can see they're still up at the top there. The owner's just been around there and uh, asking how the night was and stuff. Uh, just reported back nothing really, but I said, "Oh, the freaking swans!" He went. Every single person on the lake has just said the same thing. Nightmare. Wiped me out late last night as well. Like nine o'clock last night. Just swam straight through my line. But it must have wrapped around its leg or something because it was just dragging me PVA bag across the floor. So I had to. I had to free that off and then wind back in, reset that, get it back out. But, but yeah, nothing, not, not even a beep. So we'll uh, get up and get sorted and then we'll go again today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get something today. If not today, tonight, it would be nice to go home with a fish. And on my first video, I have a, have a fish on the bank. But we'll see, we'll see. So, we've decided to change tactics a bit. Uh, just reel the rods in there, and the PVA bags out through the night. Uh, no joy at all. So I can see, just down at the front section here, there's quite a lot of um, low level, low lying weed. Um, so we've gone, so we've gone for, <coughs> The old faithful Ronnie rig. I don't know if you can see that. She's got three and a half ounce inline lead, uh, pair lead. Uh, we've got some fluorocarbon. <laughs> That's it. Got a little, um, I think it's Pacific Tuna pop up there. I know it's winter, um, stick the fruit with it, but. Pacific tuna pop up with a little, uh, zoom that in a bit, with a little um, corner slow sinking uh, corn topper, just for a bit of visual. Yeah, that's it. Sits in the water nice as well. So again, I'm just gonna bolt that out. Cause I've got a load of bait. And what I'm trying to trying to get is if uh, there's a little bay over there, but I can't cast into it cause of the overhanging trees. So, the plan is to bolt it underneath with a load of maggot, a little bit of pellet, and then uh, go from there. And that's what I was talking about earlier on, them waking you up all night, that all night. It's an absolute nightmare. With that slow sinking corner as well, when, when I'm dropping it in in the margin and just having a look, it's it's keeping the pop up 
the slow sinking corner is just drifting down nice and slow, so it'll drop the rig. I'm not worried that that there's any that any of the weed's going to affect it, because when I've done it in the margin, I can see it's just lying on top of the weed. Uh, call that little section there Catfish Cove. So let's get this bait in. Hopefully these haven't wriggled out. First of all, I know it's winter, but I know the fish are feeding here. So we had a, there was a couple of lads had them out yesterday, and then uh, someone lost one last night. So I know the fish are on the feed. It's a little bit shallow over there though, and I've seen some coots walk back and forth. So I'm just a little bit worried that they might dive down and pick a bait up. Nice generous handful of maggots. We don't tie them in. <laughs> so it's not as tight this time. Right, let's get it out. <clears throat> Jonathan, you remember the first time you ever saw a bait boat? I know. I was amazed, me. I was like, oh my god. It's primal but um bait boats and men. Right, we need to gauge the distance here. Oh, so I'm gonna end up there. Uh, mounting up onto the thing. Do you reckon? Mm, two feet there. Mm. Is that there? Mm -hmm. Remember, I don't want the coots. Oh. Uh, could see you. Can I pick before I see you? Oh, mate, I'm right close to the bank there. Yeah. Might be a bit close to that, actually. What the fuck is this? Hmm? Right across the middle of the pot, right across the Is that not next to our line? Yeah, that's it. Well, I bet this song. Some coops. What? Are they there? No, I'm coming back now. One out. And that's it now. We'll uh, see what happens. And as I said in all the rest of the clips, hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have a fish on the back. <laughs>
Hamilton's fell asleep. I mean, it's only in my good nature to prank him, isn't it? Never fall asleep during the day when you're fishing. So quick in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just reset his rod. <laughs> the joys of fishing with your friends, eh? To the evening of the second night another quiet day it's been quiet all weekend to be honest um, no fish have yet hopefully tonight last night we might get something off uh, it's been quite quite nice this evening we've just had yeah. food saying that though I've just seen some rain coming yeah. down there <laughs> but yeah oh. we've just we've just had some tea there so we're just gonna sit out for 15, 20 minutes, a bit of crack, and then retire back to the bivvy. So we're about lambs right now. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be a, a walking by, a Delcom ripping off. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's been good, it's not been that cold. But it's... No, it, it was freezing yesterday, it was cold last night. Um, but tonight, different level tonight, it's not that bad actually. I think it's probably because you've got a blanket of cloud over here as well. Yeah. The water's nice and calm. It's proper, mm -hmm. proper carpet tonight as well. Apart from the rain, that's starting to come down now and spoil the, the last vlog. Oh, no. The actor boat's gone. Trying to mind oh, the boat. Yeah. Mm. It's by the ND. Yeah, two new spots. Found two new spots again today. I tried a couple of various different things and uh, different baits, different uh, rigs. So I've ended up going back out with PVA bags and a load of maggots over the top just to get rid of them tonight and not be taking them home. Mm. It's supposed to be really good here, red maggot, um, as a mm. feed bait. So we've got them out and they're in two, two spots and hopefully that'll be that. But it's coming down. Oh, it's probably starting to come yeah. down now. It might stop. If it gets any worse, I'll have to wrap it up. But it's in the cloud as well. I know. <laughs> but yeah, if... Uh, if we catch out tonight then I'll try and get some footage and try and get the video back on. Uh, if not, oh, it's starting to stop isn't it? If not, it's looking like I'll catch up with you in the morning um, when I'm leaving but... Bit of a shame to be red off. Oh. No, no it's not that bad, it's starting to stop. No, it's just the same man. It's not getting worse, it's not getting better. Let me worse. just unplug this and push this under. It'll be alright. Yeah, I hope you can see the oh. lens there, some oh, water on the lens. It's supposed to be a non non water stick lens, that. But... <laughs> non stick water lens. Hmm? Something stupid like that. Anyway, but... back under the water and see. <laughs> oh, yeah. stop there. But yeah, it's literally like pitch black. I don't know what the quality is going to be like with this in the night time, but it looks all right there. It's got to look like I've got a big white face. Going in with me tonight. Look at that. Look at that. Wobbly sausage. Keep your feet warm. I was warm he last night. He needs a fucking hot water bottle. You've got a heated air bag. Girl. Heated air bag? You've got a heated, <laughs> heated sleep bag. Heated I don't sleep use bag. it though, honestly. It's even worse. Yeah. I think I'm much more than being a woman. Oh, did you see that flash in the distance there? Flash bang. Yeah, it's been there. Uh, it's been quite a long the, the whole lake tonight. I think there's one one guy's had one fish out though, but mm. yeah, that rain's starting to come down a bit yeah. every now. But so yeah, unless we catch a fish tonight, either of us, then.
then um, I'll see you guys in the morning. But that's the end of the f the, f the first vlog. Hopefully, we'll be doing. Time, yeah, yeah but first episode. We'll be doing um, a lot of the day ticket lakes in the UK this year, so we'll try to get as much footage of, of them as we can. How many um, most of them? We've got Norton Disney next. Uh, you'll be at Norton Disney yeah. in in about two week, three weeks time, two or three weeks time. That's me. Is that you? Yeah. I'll right, see you later on. About two or three weeks time. So I'll see you then. I'll Coming catch you in the morning, morning, but I'm gonna have to shoot because I'm getting sore. Yep. <laughs> see you later. Morning. Yeah, uh, final morning. Gonna be off in the next hour and a half. Yeah, uh, quiet night for me. Nothing to report for me, but John, I had a fish this morning. Uh, beautiful mirror car. So a nice little end to the session. Yeah. Um, so like I say, it was quiet for me, not nothing at all. John had lovely twenty pound mirror, um, but it was freezing last night. Oh. It was cold. It's wet. Yeah, I'm about ready just to pack up and and get gone. To be honest, but we're going to just show you the fish. Um, beautiful mirror, beautiful, ripped off. Um, but yeah, congratulations to John. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Well done on the catch and. Uh, That'll be it, to be honest, for the uh, the first episode. Hopefully, we'll be back on the bank again soon. Um, and I'll see you guys then. That's it, just your fingers underneath it. Right, see there, see there, see there. Beautiful, beautiful bank with that, isn't the camera? Absolutely beautiful mirror. Done in dark as well. How hot are you? Over the moon. Feb nice February mirror car. First one of the season. Love the leather leather calves as well. Beautiful. guys draws us to the end of the first vlog uh, video unfortunately it's blank for me but so happy for Jonna to get himself a nice 20 pound mirror last night on the last night so buzzing for him like well done mate um, but yeah just a quick one if you like the, the content please do subscribe uh, like the videos comment in the comment section and uh, join me in my journey chasing that UK PB and I'll catch us on the next video guys see you later